What's up, LC Heads? Welcome back, and if you're new, we're doing the damn thing over here. We have Bayonetta. Collab just dropped. Okay, it dropped quite a few hours ago. And I'll be honest with you guys, I made a pull vid and everything. I forgot to charge my device overnight, so on my 14% battery or whatever, I recorded a nice pull vid, started going through the character, you know, uh... And yeah, right there, I was almost done recording the damn thing, and my device powered down and died. Um, and unfortunately, I already know every single time that happens, uh, because I'm not exiting out of the camera, uh, the file is corrupt, and the video is ruined, but look at this outfit this girl has. I don't know what that's supposed to be if her clothes turns into, like, a monster, but on her special, it does kind of look like she summons a monster from her belly button area we'll just we'll, we'll kind of leave it like that uh now maybe it is her clothing that's like coming out and making this monster type thing eh? anyway we're going to be looking at the abilities because that's really what a lot of people want to see uh first and foremost i'm just going to go ahead and say uh maybe hold off until the second unit and the reason I'm personally saying that right off rip uh, is with these collab heroes, first of all, I look for that flinch proof because that is what these collab heroes have been adding to Last Claudia. They've been coming with more of the flinch proof. And, yo, that is actually pretty useful, right, just for dealing with the boss's thresholds, uh, powering through, being able to actually apply your damage while everybody else is just getting thrown around on the screen or getting interrupted, not wasting your skill kit when you apple pie because you're not getting interrupted, or being able to drop your full S3, right, instead of getting two or three hits in and getting interrupted. Um, I've been using this to great effect in the guild hunt or the guild challenge, whatever it is, when we have, like, what, a minute and a half to fight some kind of monster, um, I've been using a collab hero at the end to apple pie, uh, in order to get that flinch proofness, right? So at the very end, no matter what that boss is doing, no matter what attacks, uh, you're sitting there dumping your skill kit while everyone else is getting thrown around. I dig that, man. She's got legs for days. What a witchy woman. So I've been using that to great effect. Uh, she does have something like that. It was like one of the first things I saw was... Cool. Witch time. Mm. So why am I not more happy and more excited? This damn Zippo would work. Uh, because the one thing I noticed instantly is it's not flinch proof on tap. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to actually control when this witchy woman uh, goes into flinch proof mode. That's like kind of my whole issue with it. At the same time, though, if you pay attention to her, the way that she is, you could potentially trigger her flinch proofness more often. I guess that's what I'm going to say, right? Like, uh, what, what is his name, though? The last year I was using Yuri. Yuri's awesome because not only can he apple pie himself, but he can use his other buff and go flinch proof depending on what level you work that buff up to. But that's the thing, is you got to drop a bunch of his skills just to work up to that. Uh, you get to control when you drop it, but as soon as you do, like, that's it. you got the next 30 seconds, dump your kit, and then you have to start stacking all over again. Um, it does look like this girl can potentially turn on her flinch proofness more times throughout the fight. You're just not going to be able to control exactly when. I think that would have really really tip the scales in her favor if they would have just given her some ability to uh what's it called witch time to to actually uh get witch time to work for you they could have gave her some ability called witch's blood or something like that which is once per quest and then you can just apply witch time to yourself let's take a look at that real quick where is her there it is there's some of her custom stuff focused will duration of strength defense intelligence mind debuffs taken minus 50 percent cool that's faster that you recover from those stat breaks which time when physically attacked 
So magic's not going to uh, trigger this, but when you are taking physical attacks, chance to give the unit witch time buff. Witch time buff activates. Won't flinch from physical attacks. Buff ends after five seconds. Can't be regiven before end. So you can't just, you know, go three seconds through the buff and then get it retapped. Uh, after your five seconds is up and it wears off, you have a chance of activating it again. So that's kind of the way that I'm looking at it. If we just had something uh, so she could actually harness that and use that when she actually needs to like right at the very end when the boss is at like 20 percent health and you need to dump a bunch of damage on him uh what happens if this doesn't activate so we'll kind of keep an eye and we'll see if we can get which time to activate while we're running her looking through her skills right uh her other ability is you want to touch me uh dark damage 20 percent damage cap 2000 when attacking male units, chance for dark damage cap 10,000 more. She is a witchy uh, man-eater, straight up. So uh, that's cool. She's going to do substantially more damage and more damage cap to, I don't know, 40% of the things we fight, <laughs> right? Not everything in Last Cloudy is male and female, <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, you have Rimuru. He's a thing. I guess, remember, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to count that. Is Bahamut a dude? It'd actually be kind of funny to find out that Bahamut's a chick. We're fighting a chick Bahamut in Last Claudia. Um, and maybe when they like start introducing more monsters and stuff like that, they'll actually label them if it's a... <laughs> if it's got a unit hanging or not. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that's pretty cool. Right, this is a substantial boost. That's it's going to be applicable. There's going to be things that are the opposite of her gender, right? Male characters, um, and that ten thousand damage cap is really nice to see. Uh, all in all, it's solid. She's got some uh, some nice things in here. You've been naughty. Two machines equipped. Physical attack damage twenty percent. Enemies more likely to faint. Break plus twenty five percent. And plus 50% more break to male enemies. Again, targeting those damn males. Now, do I think she's actually going to be a breaker? I don't think so. Off the top of my head, I haven't really tested it or tried it. I think this is kind of going to be one of those things where you're going to be bringing a dedicated breaker to a fight. And she's just going to be helping along, right? I'm sure that extra 50% and whatever, I mean, it's, it's still going to help you, right? Um, we'll have to see though. I'll actually see if, uh, she can, if her, her break game is out of control. Don't know yet though. That's all you got. Uh, Battlestar Autocast Grand Brave and Fortitude. Effects last until the unit is incapacitated. So you got your Grand Brave 35% strength or whatever already right there built in. That's just awesome. Right, that's some SC saved. That's some gear that you don't have to take that has Grand Brave on it, um, and that's just one less Grand Brave that one of your buffers has to cast. So that's nice. Let's dance, boys. Give physical attacks and anti knight, god, spirit, and stone type effects. We love it when they group these slayers together. Damn it, absolutely love it. Uh, so those are just you know her little custom abilities. Which time, <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't want to read some of these. You want to touch me? You've been naughty. That all you got? Let's dance, boys. So that's pretty nice stuff in there. Uh, especially if you are going out to be a man-eater, right? Um, here we have both of her paid items. We have an Abaddon glass and the wings of an archangel for our accessories. I just threw on whatever because really we're just, we're just going to be looking at her kit, right? Uh, and I didn't really get a chance to teach her anything. She's got some Dark Attack Rise too, some God Buster, Blood Force for no damn reason at all. Some Giant Killing, we can't see eye to eye. Holy Circle, just in case, and we got some Fate. We got some Fate to help us in the beginning of the fight. We got some Aim Vitals, Fast Speed, that's it. That's it, that's all we need. All right, so let's see how she does, and we will see if we can actually get Witch's Blood to Croc. Here's our wonderful party. We will drop her special 
Oh, yeah, okay. Might as well go actually uh, through her skill kit when we're looking at it. Let's see, where is she? Like, I don't think there's anything miraculous attached, like any abilities attached to what she's doing. Uh, I think it's a straight damage. Okay, front, uh, that's mine. Front dash to close in for a medium area dark combo attack. She does hit everything on her way, like when she's charging through with that forward dash, so that's okay. Kiss this. Front medium area dark combo attack that launches enemy into the air. <clears throat> to me, that kind of reminds me of uh, Thouser. You know, Thouser's, is it his S2 or his S1? Where, like, some spike comes out of the ground... Uh, and then he jumps in there and smacks you down. This is kind of like the same thing. Some kind of orb comes up and holds the enemy up in there. And then she jumps up there and does an attack. It's pretty cool. Punishment's dope. Instantly close the gap for a wide area dark combo attack. This is the move that's going to get her there. It's like this giant meat grinder wheel comes out. And she, I don't know, it just pulls her to the enemy. That's what's going to teleport her around pretty much. That's what's going to get her anywhere. Um, so the S3 is going to get her in there, and then it's just going to be S1 and S2 dumps, right? And the special, powerful dark combo attack to one enemy. Damage cap, 120,000. So all in all, not too bad, I think, with this build, with just nothing on her. Her special was hitting for like 50,000 a hit. And no, it is not one of those one-hit specials. So uh, we will activate it see what we can do with it it does look cool i dig her special dig that little animation in there we're gonna have to take her right to the lab we're gonna go to god mode we're gonna go straight to spirited assault that's right if we have to uh break some dark resistance we can do that Honestly, I wasn't sure how they were going to set these characters up because she is a witch. And a lot of people are thinking maybe they'll bring a mage in. Um, I think the other hero is supposed to be lightning is what I've heard. I don't know. I called that she was going to be dark because she is a witch. It just fit the theme. And that's what I was saying to the guild. Ooh, a dark flinch proof. Here it comes, right? Uh, so nothing to toggle here. No apple pie, no buff, no charisma, right? She's, uh, she's going to be counting on somebody else for that. No. Here's the other thing, too. Look at her basic attack. It, it's not like uh, you can run away and shoot people from across the screen with your guns. She does kind of have, like, some kind of little arc in front of her. Like, her little gunshots penetrate a little bit, but typically, like, this is all just her basic attack. You can't actually shoot at somebody from across the screen, though. You see bullets flying through. You still have to get within close quarters range. Here's the last one. She's running, charging, and then she kicks. Pretty cool. Here's the S2. Throws them up in the air. Let's do that again. Keeps everybody nice and bunched up together. She's got good crowd control. S1. Uh, here's the S3. It teleports her over. Got interrupted. There's that spinning wheel of death. Uh, so we do have witch time up right now. So cut chance to flinch from physical attacks so we did proc that off of getting hit with this last hit uh, it procced while one of our abilities was uh getting interrupted actually uh, what i will say this is this uh i'm noticing her kit charges pretty damn quick um i can see why she's not bringing her own bite of apple pie um so that's cool, right? We have that to work with. Kit charges up fast. Probably not a lot of SCT to make this stuff happen. Let's lock into this fool. Let's uh, jump over there with the S3 instantly. She will travel across the whole screen. And she's hitting some of those frogs behind her too, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah. S1, pretty good at bunching stuff up. Do we have our... Uh, no, we do not. We do not have our flinch proofness. It's just going to proc here and there. Hey, five seconds at a time. If you can get it to, bro to proc back to back to back, I mean, that's cool, right? Um, so it is still a form of flinch proofness. And look at that pose she has at the very end. Let's go ahead and drop our special. 
She, I think she has some sorcerer. Oh, she's got extra damage to sorcerers because she has night mastery and sorcerers are their worst enemies. Let's throw a holy circle on this fool. Oh, that's right. So his dark is minus 70 now. Here comes that special baby. Here we go. Oh, see where, where does that come from? <laughs> is she shooting that out of her belly button or is that just her dress? So we took a quarter of the mage's health with that, the sorcerer. Shabam. Okay, so I will say even if we did have uh, flinch proof up right now, I don't know if it affects magic. It can't be triggered by magic. It can only be triggered by physical attack. So she's probably still going to take magic damage. Uh, she also has something that empowers the second hit from her dual wield ability right when you're dual wielding something your one attack turns into two damage counters she has a damage boost to that second damage counter so here's that beautiful special again where's that dr where yeah where's that thing coming out of huh <laughs> oh my goodness is she is she dropping that out of her uh, her you know what oh now that they're bunched up we did get interrupted, and look, witch time's up. So, right now, even though there's this freaking robot thing shooting a machine gun and whatever, now's my time to dump abilities as quick as I can. Okay, did witch time last? Look at that, just that quick, witch time is gone. But, hey, I did manage to drop three abilities. Uh, flinch proof. Now we can run away. Oh, wait, we got physically attacked? No, it didn't proc again. But there's that wheel of death. I dig it. It's almost like as soon as we get done throwing an S1, we have another one on tap already. Run out of those, go to an S2. Here's an S3. We're back to an S1. Oh, did we proc it? No. Love that wheel of death. Something tells me you're going to see a lot of that if you play this hero. So, uh, pretty quick. Now, look. Look at this thing's break bar, right? Well, this... I don't know. Is this robot a man or a woman? <laughs> uh, she should still have some break in her kit, but it's not looking like she's an actual, like, breaker breaker because I would think, like, like Zox would go in here... He would break this damn robot. Oh, 30% resistance, huh? I was kind of hoping to knock that down to 20. All right, but she is definitely going to be helping any breaker along the way, right, before she drops her uh, her killer of a JJ finish here that just, like, the darkness eats you. <laughs> it's her dress, though. It's her dress. Or it's coming out of her belly button. Right, so pretty cool. I dig the pose. She's dropping. She's dropping those scissor legs. Uh, it's, okay, interesting little pose. Right, very uh, bayonetta, very witch-like. I dig it. Let me know what you think of her kit. Right, again, if you, if I feel like if we could actually affect when witch's time is procking, maybe do a little bit more with it. I'd feel a lot more comfortable with her. Um, same time she is a potentially flinch proof ish dark damage uh so we'll be looking at the character over more later i just wanted to show her skill kit off and let you guys know pretty much kind of what we're working with here this is how she's going to drop skills this is what it's going to look like that'll give you an idea of the hit count she does have both of her paid gears here and we went over kind of how the flinch proofness works um so we'll break down her gear and her actual I wanted to call them feats. No, I'm not playing Dungeons and Dragons today. We're playing Last Cloud, yeah. Yeah, traits. We'll talk about how our traits work. Uh, <clears throat> so, what I'm saying for most people is you might want to wait till the second hero drops uh, before you go in for this one. I was going to get her for collector's sake anyway. She is Bayonetta. And I dig that pose at the end, right? But uh, we'll see what the other hero is packing. 
um, and we'll we'll see uh, we'll see if that's the one off this banner to get. And obviously, if that's the case, you're going to want to hone your resources in on that. <clears throat> now, I didn't get the arc for her. I did pull a dupe of her though, so eh, whatever, we'll take it. No arc yet. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. We do have some tickets to grind out, and hopefully. Uh, I can get a video of those polls without it getting corrupted. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, make sure to like this video so it gets around. That definitely helps the channel out. I appreciate all the love from all of you. Have an awesome collab day. I wish you all the best luck. I hope you pull her and the arc off of one ticket. Yeah, I said it. I hope the game glitches out and you just get everything today. And if that does happen to you, please share the luck with me. Later, everybody. Have an awesome collab day.